Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have a vintage Penguin Cygnus petrol lighter. Aluminum block roller lighter. We've seen several of these in the past and you should know by now that they are some of my favorites. Actually probably the only lighter that I would say that I actually collect at this point. If you have a Penguin Cygnus that you would like to trade away or sell then get a hold of me because uh, I definitely have the bug for them. This one has, I believe, an enameled scene on the front and back. I'm no expert on paint or that kind of thing. It's just a semi-educated guess. It is missing some of its paint, but it's a very nice lighter with a very detailed and intricate scene that is depicted on it. it. Does show wear, scuffs, corrosion to the file wheel or to the roller part of the file wheel, not the file wheel itself. Dings scratches, scrapes, general wear and paint loss. You can see the scene looks like a house or pagoda or some kind of structure perched on the side of a hill with looks to me like evergreen trees of one variety or another and a snow-capped mountain in the background on the back I believe you have continuation of the mountains and I'm not sure about the rest of that. We'll talk about that later. Very cool lighter that I won't be using any more than to demonstrate and make the video for the well I said make the video for the listing I'm not gonna be making a video for a listing for this one <laughs> um, I don't really even know if there's any value to these penguin Cygnus lighters but this is really cool to find this one with this kind of paint and such an intricately detailed scene on it. And when I say I don't know if there's really any value, I'm talking about above what, you know, the 25 to $35 floor for things that I post in my store. For me personally, there's no way I would let go of this ladder for less than $100. If I was just, uh, you know, a non-interested lighter seller. But since I'm collecting these Penguin Cygnus now, it's even more special to me. And really, I don't know how many of these am I going to run across over the years. I've been doing this for five years or so now, four years, somewhere in that neighborhood. very few images out there on the internet of penguin cygnus period in anything other than anodized gold or silver tone 
If you enjoy watching videos about old petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms, please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video you're watching. Tell your friends about the channel. Hit the share button. Send that link off in a text, email, post it on social media. However it is that you communicate with folks nowadays and let them get a look at it for themselves. You can leave any comments or questions below the video. We would also appreciate it if you would follow and like Dependable Flame and DependableFlame.com across all the social media platforms. That will be Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and of course eBay. The image on the back looks to be sort of maybe where some mountains would meet the sea. And at first blush, that looks as though a, looks like it's a chip in the paint. But I don't believe that it is. And I'm not sure what it is supposed to be depicting. But I think it's similar to this other Japanese lighter and these images that it shows in the water there maybe. It's just a guess. I don't really know. It doesn't look like a chip. If it is, it's different color underneath. I don't know. If you happen to have one of these or have seen one, then leave a comment or drop me some pictures over on the website. I would love to see other pictures. As I was saying earlier, when you look around at images of Penguin Cygnus petrol lighters on the internet, there just aren't that many. There are a couple that are painted with logos. There are the gold, silver anodized. I have a green anodized one. I have seen a picture on the internet of a blue anodized example. Other than that, engine turning and different designs on the metal are really the only thing that I can think of and I don't remember ever seeing one of these. But like I said, I've only been doing this for a short period of time. And I have a few Penguin Cygnus, a few more on the way that I'm expecting in the mail today. One in the mail today, one here in a couple of days. Even though there aren't a lot of pictures out there, perhaps I'll be able to begin to catalog a few and uh, have pictures for the next person that comes along to collect them. This one will not be sold anytime soon. It will proudly be displayed among my collection whenever I figure out a way to display that. Make sure that you get over to eBay and check out the DependableFlame.com store. Every purchase that you make there will benefit HDSA, Huntington's Disease Society of America, with at least 10% of each purchase going to that charity. See the, I'm not going to bother with taking it out, but you can see the spare flint container there, gasket still on the fill screw. We also have three penny start auctions each month where I provide free shipping. High bidder gets the lighter, pays the money, which all goes to the charity, and everybody is happy. Make sure that you follow us 
over on eBay so you get the notifications when those new listings go up make sure that you don't miss out on those also make sure here on the YouTube channel that you hit the bell so that you're notified each time we publish a new video you can see the missing paint and other wear but you can also see the detail in the paint and the thickness and hardiness to it doesn't look like you're going to scratch it off like it does some of those lighters. At least not real easily. But I'm not going to be scratching this one, period. After making a video or two, and I'm sure there will be a comparison video on the way, but this one will never go in my pocket or anything like that. Until next time.